Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the ninth video as part of our playlist of power of reporting in Tally Prime. And this is part three of our reporting related to GoTo. In this video, we will learn the menu structure of the GoTo and we will try and see what are the different techniques that we can apply so that we can completely exploit the feature and facility of GoTo. Let us go to Tally and explore the menu of GoTo. Let us click on GoTo. So we have seen this list of report. Let us now try and understand the menu structure that the GoTo list of report provides. So the first block that we are seeing here is the saved views. I have still not covered how to save a view. We will do that in the upcoming session. So any report that you are viewing with your own configuration you can now save that report since you have configured that or added a new column and various information that you have added into the report if you are going to view that report on a regular basis then there is a feature in tally where you can save that configured view and give a name for that particular view so any report that you are saving as your own view, those reports will get listed here. And apart from that, you are seeing three predefined report. A predefined report is the report which is provided by Tally by default. And any predefined report that Tally provides, you cannot delete them. But whatever report that you are saving, those reports can be deleted. And in one of my upcoming session, I will cover in detail how to save a view and how to modify and how to delete a view. So this is the purchase dashboard which forms part of dashboard report, sales dashboard and outstanding MSME bills. These are predefined report. The next block that we are seeing here is the common report. You would have noticed that sometimes when you are trying to type a particular report name you will find the report appearing twice for example if i say profit and loss account you see here you are now seeing the profit and loss account under the block of common report and also under final account report now is this two report no it is only same single report but then why it is coming under common and final account report that is what we are trying to understand now the common report is a dynamic report by default when you are installing tally for the first time and when you are going to the go to menu you will find balance sheet profit and loss account cash book day book and trial balance as your common report which is again predetermined by tally software because normally these are the reports that you will be regularly accessing but if you see here on my screen apart from this five reports you are also viewing other reports like bills receivable, bills payable, stock query, go down summary, sales order due, purchase order due. So why are these appearing? These will dynamically appear when you are accessing this report on a regular basis. So the whole idea is Tally picks up those reports which you are viewing on a ongoing basis or on a regular basis and it will put those reports on top of your list of report from the go to menu so that you can access those reports faster. So as you keep viewing multiple reports and those reports will keep appearing here. So that is why you notice that certain reports are appearing under two heads of a report or so a common report then the final account report. Now the other reports are classified based on the nature of report and each of the cluster of report or suite of report are provided a title. So the name that we are seeing in bold here is basically the title of the common or associated reports. Common report, final account report. Now if you want to see what are the reports that are provided under final account report, there are two ways of doing it. One is, if you notice here on top, you have this button called expand all. So when you come here and select expand all, Tally is going to now expand all the reports. So if you notice here under final account report, you have balance sheet, profit loss account, trial balance, receipts and payment. Under receivable payable, all receivable and payable associated reports are grouped under this segment. This way you see cash and fund flow, banking utilities and there are so many other things. So if you want to collapse, when you click on collapse all, these two reports will always be 
in detailed mode the other reports will get collapsed now if you see here on my screen when we are viewing in the normal mode there are no additional report which are getting listed below this list when you click on expand all you will see that there are 88 more line items which are there collapse now let us say for some reason you don't want to expand all the report just know what we saw you want to basically expand just the receivable and payable report and see what are the reports under this group which you can access so for that all you have to do is come to that particular report title and press alt enter when you press alt enter tally will explode the reports associated with this group of receivables and payable report now if you want to collapse again again you are going to hold alt key and press enter it will collapse now these also can be collapsed by clicking on alt enter it will collapse your saved view also will collapse by when you press alt enter but when you come out and then go back again to alt g it will show these two reports always in the detailed mode let us now view in the expand all mode so when i click on expand all it is showing 88 more lines now there is another option which says show more when you come down here and when you click on show more now the line item is increased to 197 so this number will depend on the screen resolution that you have so here again we are seeing that there are 197 more line items which are there which you can actually basically once you just browse through you will get an idea that what are the reports that are there and how and literally you don't have to go through each and every report all you have to do is initially it will be a little difficult for you to understand the title of the report that you are seeing but once you understand the report all you have to do is just type the name of the report that you want to view here under the go to search menu bar tally will auto filter and provide now let us come back here and there are other reports which are inactive reports which means what is inactive the other features of tally like for example tally has payroll module and then it has tds module apart from gst module then there is job work job costing so various modules those modules reports since in this company you would have not activated those features so when you click on show inactive now my line item is gone to 375 line item so basically we can use this mouse and scroll down here and you will see that there are other reports which are there like payroll statutory reports right tally audit reports are there and then these are the payroll reports which are there so the whole idea is for you once you know that okay so these reports are there in case if you are not aware of these features that are there these reports will kind of act like a reminder for you to know that these features are there and if there is a requirement for your organization to use these features you can always use this and tally is so flexible that you know basically it allows seamless incremental implementation to go to the top all you can do is just press ctrl home it will take you to the top of it and in the last session we saw how from anywhere you can alter your master you can create a new master in the last video which is the delete of the accountant video we also saw how you can create a master alter a master and create a voucher navigating from any report you can always do any activity you want to perform without tracking back or going back and coming forward i hope this video would have given you a clear idea of how you can navigate the go to report and access any information or see what other information you can access and especially the expansion and contraction of a set of report structure would be of great help and you can make use of this feature or technique to get your work done faster. In the next video, we will cover more reports related to Tally Prime, which is the power of reporting of Tally. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.